hello everyone so today we are going to work on this uh, snow particle effect where the snow uh, particle wind changes dynamically in the runtime so it has some random effects where now you can see the wind is flowing to the right side with some speed and it dynamically changes now it changes again so basically it changes the direction and also it changes the speed uh, time to time so this is what we are going to work on today how to achieve some randomness into this wind particle uh, this snow particle right so this is what we have developed in the previous video of the snow system which is this one so what i want to do is set in some turbulences so for that uh, here let's go to this uh, particle effect and here let's add uh well let me disable one of these oh. yeah maybe just disable this one and continue with only this so here because just to make this simpler so here let's add the acceleration first okay and uh, I try to convert this to a uh, oh, it's uh, let me talk it here right now using this drop down we can do a multiply vector sorry not multiply vector ve multiply vector by float so here now this one represent a vector that shows the direction where uh, acceleration is applied to these particles so if I keep everything 0 and this one 1 I have some acceleration but if I add a value here you can see now these particles are flowing to the right side of the screen right so now if I connect this with uh, instead of using a direct value here but if I connect this with mm, owner system x-axis right now what happens is I am taking the x-axis of the owner that means here if I change this NSS now x-axis means this side so if I rotate it this way you should see the particle are now moving towards this side so that's the difference okay so now uh, let me reset it uh, let's instead of having this here let me make it default by zero so we don't have any acceleration and let's add a user parameter float let's say to, let's name it turbulence or wind power <coughs> by default I'll leave it zero and then I'll combine it with this acceleration force I link this uh, user dot wind power okay now uh, 
here let's convert this into a blueprint well no need to convert let's just create a new blueprint using actor bp snow right now here i'll add niagara particle system component and we can choose niagara snow right now let's put it here <coughs> right so now here in this blueprint in order to add some variable turbulence uh, let's add create a custom event change wind Ch just change wind and get the Niagara set use no get Niagara sys no set Niagara variable float okay now here we need to use the same name dot user dot wind power user dot wind power as the value let's add a random float in range mm. something in between let's say minus 10 and plus 10 maybe minus 30 plus 30 to have some more effect and yeah if we want to make this random what we can do is we can make have it uh, some random delay we can make the delay also random by just given a random duration term float in range something in between 5 seconds to 20 seconds oh yeah that should be enough and after that again call uh, change wind okay so we shouldn't call this twice otherwise this would be a mess so in the begin play i'll call change wind uh yeah i think that's it just to make sure this is happening we can add a print also change in wind oh one more thing so if we need to change the direction we can just rotate this actor so set actor rotation and we only need to change the your rotation so this one random floating range something in between 0 and 360 should do right now shall we check I didn't see I get the notification oh wait did I call this yeah I did change in wind oh 
Oh yeah, I can see it here. Okay, now you can see the wind is into the this way. See and now you can see it again changed to the other side. <coughs> okay, let's change in the direction. So you can see you somewhat lose particles in a, in some area based on the direction and the power of the wind. So if you want to avoid that, you can do something like this here. Uh, spawn shape you can shape location 10 10 you can make this one also 10 or you can increase the total range uh, wait maybe it's a good idea to increase this 50 by 50 and spawn rate maybe double 20,000 wait now we can just duplicate this same thing copy paste and disable collision module because we need some module without collision uh, particles are compiling right now let's see now we can see the wind into the right side changing direction again See. also if you want to increase this turbulence effect you can do something like this too uh, here this curl noise nice frequency noise strength we can multiply oh, wait what happens if this is a negative value it works fine I guess yeah so if this is 200 Right. So let's uh, multiply this with another float. It initially it was twenty, so I'll keep it. This one I'll use use uh, dot wind power. So here we get something in between minus thirty and plus thirty. So maybe we should. Uh, reduce this a bit let's see wait I need to do the same thing here also so let's copy this noise strength in the curl noise first and paste here alright now let's see <coughs> Uh, 
Now you can see this effect is changing in a dynamic way. But maybe we should turn down the curl noise. It kind of seems raw. See? Yeah, I think we should turn it down. Mm -hmm. How about one? Okay, let change in direction again. It's more calm now. Changing again. All right. So that's it. So maybe next time we should work on an effect where the where we add a sound and based on the intensity of the wind effect the sound is also changing something like that. So yeah, let's think about that in the next episode. And thanks for watching. So as always project files will be available for the patron uh, download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye